Hey, here we are again. It's 8.43 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's Sunday, November 12th, 2017. And this is the Crypto Update. <laughs> trailer's already getting old for you, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, it's what we have to do. Uh, I gotta get rid of this reflection somehow. I uh, don't quite know how we're gonna do that, but we'll figure it out. On the black backgrounds, it reflects at me, and you can see me in the... Uh, buddy, I don't want to be seen. I'm ugly. Uh, this just gives a current overview of the market. Uh, you can see about 40% of the coins are in the green and making money, and about 60% are losing money, including the famous coin of Bit. And we're going to go over and see what the hell is going on. Uh, Bitcoin has had a rough, rough, rough day. As you can see, it's not looking good at 58.38. But, the good news is, it's been at an awesome, awesome, awesome buy price. These are bargain prices. It actually fell today to 54.49. That is low. That's a big crash. And I'll show you where that happened. Uh, the high today was 65.20, so it was actually looking promising at some point. <coughs> today is considered late last night, and at about 1.30, Bitcoin fell all the way, all the way, all the way down. From 6,200 down to 54. And then it had a big surge, a big buyback, almost hitting 6,400. Uh, adjusted and then went way, way back up to over 6,400. Since then, it has. Now yeah, there's a big crash starting probably one. About 2 o'clock this afternoon, Eastern Time. And since then, it's been buying back a little bit. <coughs> it came back up just about an hour ago to 6, oh, back over 6,000, but then it started falling again. So, very, very volatile day for the coin of bits. There you see it. Anywho, let's keep trucking further, folks. There's Bitcoin number one in volume. Number two in volume would be Bitcoin Cash. Staying up there, but it did fall today. Any, I feel sorry for anyone who got in late on this because they are losing money. And Bitcoin Cash is down 5.5%. Today's high hit a whopping $2,700, but quickly crashed. And today's low was uh, 1142 
Yeah, since that low, it's come back up, but not by much. It's struggling. It's way, way up on the week and way, way up on the month. Actually tripling in value here. And some people made a lot of money in the last couple of days, but it looks like Bitcoin Cash's glory days might be coming to an end. And that's the day. Everything was looking great, and then bang. Somebody pulled the rug out from under Bitcoin Cash. Ethereum is third in volume and looking better at 312, but still struggling. Today's high was 318 and the low was 295. Up on the day about 1%, so not much to speak of there. Very volatile. Litecoin is at 58.95 and down 4.26%. Nothing much going on at Litecoin. They are fourth in volume. So a lot of activity, but nothing really to speak of. Bitcoin Classic lost a ton today. Fifth in volume and down 23, almost 24%. Great week, great month, but a uh, terrible day for Ethereum Classic. Dash comes in at 6th in the volume and up 25%. So Dash, uh, from what I saw, I started, I started trading this today and I didn't. Uh, I mean, I made some money, but it was just moving too quick for Dash to be moving and I got out. I didn't make much, but then I didn't lose anything, but I was lucky not to lose anything either. So, it's been volatile. It's either way up or way down. Uh, Ripple comes in 7th and is also down 5.75%. Ripple's still struggling big time and just can't just just can't seem to do anything sitting at 19.3 cents a lot of volume but uh, there's a little more sellers and there is buyers so it's just not going anywhere Bitcoin gold still in the top 10 at number 8 but god look at this Bitcoin gold also tanks so this supposed run on Bitcoin with the uh, forked coins yeah, well, so much for that. Bitcoin gold's down 32.17%. High today was 4.62, and the low was 2.39. So it's not much higher than today's low. And look at that. That's uh, that's discouraging for anyone holding Bitcoin gold. Monero. Having a good day and up 3.54%, having a great week, up 44% on the week, and a decent month, and it's up 24.19% uh, for the month. Today's high was 137, that's very high for manure, and today's low was 108. And wrapping it up, number 10 in volume would be Zcash, and uh, Zcash is up 8.18%. Having a good week and a decent month. Careful with this one. Uh, if you're going to trade that, be careful. Uh, top news, the crypto civil war, it isn't really a civil war, Bitcoin will bounce back, a lot of, a lot of long time veteran holders in Bitcoin are stirring a lot of shit and saying a lot of negative stuff and, uh, I don't know, the transaction fees are killing, killing, they just, they just keep going up. And they're killing small time, small time Bitcoin holders or traders and uh, 
people that like to move money around in little bits at a time. Uh, if you're on Coinbase, you're getting eat up if you're using Coinbase to transfer money back and forth. I highly recommend getting an account at GDAX where the fees can be actually zero at pennies at the most. GDAX is owned by Coinbase. Um, so transfers from Coinbase to GDAX are instant and you do have an account. If you have an account at Coinbase, all you have to do is log in to GDAX and you have an account there too. Uh, although you will have to reconnect your bank to GDAX. But you can, you can uh, send money in GDAX and you can transfer uh, pennies to uh, bigger exchanges like not bigger, but exchanges that have more coins if you want to trade. Uh, it, you know, exchanges is like Kraken and Bittrex. Instead of paying that crazy uh, transaction fee to throw money into your Bitcoin account on Bittrex, um, you can just pay a couple pennies. Um, so look into it there's a lot of videos about it on um, YouTube again it's GDAX G-D-A-X Mount Gox is back in the news uh, this was a Japanese exchange that went bankrupt in 2014 and Mark Capellas I think that's how you pronounce his name, filed for bankruptcy, he was running the exchange and claimed that 750,000 Bitcoin were hacked from the exchange. This is a famous story. And of course they were customer Bitcoin, so a lot of uh, customers filed lawsuits on on Mount Gox and um, it's now back in the courts and um, everything was seized by the Japanese government and they recovered 200,000 uh, Bitcoin and here's the amazing t this was April back in April 2014 um, Now, those 200,000 Bitcoin that were recovered will be going to the original customers. But, there's a big but, it's going to be at the value it was at 2014. Mm-hmm. Not today's value. Those customers are not going to get today's value of those Bitcoin. They're going to get the value it was at 2014. Which leaves this guy Mark Capellas getting the balance, which is over a billion dollars. And the public is in an uproar about this. So uh everybody's watching this court case mount gox is back in the news we have a couple questions will you be making some trade videos i don't know i've considered it dave woods wants to know this um there's a lot to trading and i don't want to confuse anybody so i would really have to organize everything and get get everything down in order uh, I recommend to people if they want to get into trading and they're going to do whatever the hell they want to do anyway regardless of what I say so just get at least one Bitcoin bought and put away and don't mess with it and just um, if you're going to start trading just do it with little amounts of money like a hundred dollar trades or $200 at the most uh, just money that if you lost it it's you know it's not going to give you a nervous breakdown and just see if you're any good at it and just practice with small amounts of money before taking big plunges where you can really lose your butt 
you can lose a lot of money trading and it's very stressful and there's a lot to it it's not just well this coin is pretty so I'm going to buy it uh, you have to know when to get in uh, when to get out um, uh, it's a lot like playing poker in a video game at the same time it can be a lot of fun it can be very exciting or it can really 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 stress you out um, be careful with it um, do more homework than you'll ever need and uh, just I don't want to make a video and influence people to trade because if they lost money I don't want to be having to feel terrible about that well John Disk said this is how you do it and they <laughs> and you know they did it all wrong and then they lost money and so I don't there's you know, let's face it, there's a lot of idiots on the internet and they'll come back and blame me if they lose money. So I don't, I'm not sure if I want to make a video about trading or not. And I'm sure it would get a lot of, a lot of views and, you know, a lot of people would dig it. But, um... I, I don't know, Dave. I'm, I'm considering it, but I would have to do it right. And I'd have to make it really, really, really clear that this is not for everybody. Uh, why do I keep changing my video structure? Wanda Green wants to know. It's because I'm always evolving. I get bored with the same old way. I'm always looking for a better way. Um, it will continue to evolve until... Uh, I think it's as good as it can be. Um, I'm going. There's a lot in the works. There's a lot going on, and um, it's going to keep changing. It's going to keep getting better. I think it's getting better. I think it's getting more clear, and it's keeping me from you know getting bored with the same old thing what do you think about investing in gold mark mccode wants to know ah, i never messed with it i don't like the idea of it i don't know much about it um yeah the price of it's controlled by the government and wall street and i don't like being controlled um if you're actually going to own hard copy gold you can't take it to the store and buy something with it and you have to exchange it for uh, you know for fiat currency if you actually want to spend it and yeah, so it's not a currency and um, I don't know it's been my experience that there's a lot of sleazy characters in the gold industry yeah, and they kind of creeped me out, and it's, it was just never for me, it was just never my thing, and I don't knock people doing it, if they're doing it on, you know, on Wall Street, investing and in buying gold and silver and all that, um, there's things that are attractive about it, but there's, there's more things that turn me off about it. And again, I don't know a lot about it. I've never done it, and I've never really had the desire to do it. So, I don't know, Mark. You would have to ask somebody that actually has done it and has experience in it, and they would know, they would answer your question much better than I'm currently answering it. Um, expect Bitcoin to bounce back. Don't sweat it too much, all you holders. It's a great time to buy. Um, so, I would recommend you know, waiting for it to level out and start rising and uh, get back in. Get in if you have money laying around. Um, use it. Don't panic sell. Don't jump out. Don't. I'm not going to play this trailer again. I'm already getting sick of it. I'll probably redo the trailer. Uh, <laughs> just because. Um, it's just the way I am. 
Anyway, everybody have a great night and peace.